WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy's Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. Thanks for joining us. I'm WRTV's Amber Grigley. A deadly shooting at an east side barn grill injured five, including an IMPD officer. Around 1.30 Sunday morning, two off-duty IMPD officers in uniform were working at 1111 Barn Grill off East Washington Street when a disturbance broke out in a parking lot. Now, at some point, police said shots were fired between the two officers and at least one suspect, resulting in an officer being shot and four others injured. Later, another male victim arrived to the hospital and died. Police believe he was shot at the scene. One gun was recovered from the scene. And another investigation right now on the southeast side after a person was shot and killed near the Garfield Park neighborhood just after four Sunday morning. IMPD responded to a call about a person shot in the 2800 block of Tyndall Street. When they got to the scene, they found the victim who was pronounced dead from gunshot injuries. John. Well, temperatures tonight will drop down into the 40s, but these lows will likely happen between 1 and 3 o'clock. And with a gusty or a gusting wind out of the southeast to 25 miles per hour, our temperatures will start to rise by sunrise. I think by 7 o'clock, at least in Indianapolis, we're sitting around 47 degrees. We'll have cloudy skies, or at least mostly cloudy skies through the day, but temperatures will be able to overcome those cloudy skies. So we'll make it up into the 60s throughout central Indiana as we go through the day on Monday, along with that, some gusty winds out of the east southeast, shifting around to the far south southeast. Highs 66 in Indianapolis, 66 in Shelbyville, 64 in Kokomo, and 66 in Bloomington. Now it's Monday night into Tuesday morning. We'll have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. I think the best chance for rain arrives after 10 o'clock, at least in Indianapolis. And with this, there could be a few embedded thunderstorms with this line as it passes through. By Tuesday morning, the rain is out. We'll likely see skies clearing out Tuesday morning and early Tuesday afternoon and temperatures should recover back into the 60s before a cold front comes through and brings with it a chance for a few thunderstorms late Tuesday afternoon and early evening. Now the big story for Monday and Tuesday will be the winds. We're likely going to see winds gusting at times 40 miles per hour on the day on Monday. Uh, this is what Truecast is showing and each of these numbers indicate the wind gust in miles per hour based off the computer model. As we go into the night, the winds will shift to more to the south and here comes that rain coming in and with that will be some stronger winds. We could have winds gusting 45 to 55, maybe even 60 miles per hour overnight into early Tuesday morning. And once those showers are out, that doesn't mean we're done with the wind. In fact, we'll keep winds gusting at times 45 to maybe 50 miles an hour through the day on Tuesday. So because of that, a wind advisory is in effect Monday from 6 o'clock in the evening through Tuesday at 6 o'clock. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of us are upgraded to a high wind warning. Seven day forecast shows 65 and windy still on Tuesday. We cool off behind the system on Wednesday, but then rebounding towards the end of the week. As we head towards the weekend, temperatures back in the 60s, but it chance for scattered showers.